How do you get people to go up to Vermont when, in fact, they could just fly out and, uh, and go to Vail? What's the value proposition? Well, it's the difference between flying and driving. The, uh, you know, we're about um, you know, four hours from New York, two and a half hours from Hartford, uh, two and a half, three hours from Boston. So that's, uh, it's a lot easier to drive than it is to fly and cheaper, too. So it, uh, the value proposition and the, and the quality proposition is that it's, uh, it's closer and uh, easier to get to. Yeah, and, and this year there's plenty of snow. Um, in a year like this when you don't have to make snow, what does that do to the profitability of uh, a mountain like Okemo? Well, we have uh, you know, great snow making here, so we don't absolutely need to have uh, great snowfall to have uh, good conditions. Uh, we just invested and in, started a program, our Operation Snowbirds this year, which we invested over a million dollars in new high-technology uh, snowmaking guns. So uh, between snowmaking and the snow we have had, which has been good, um, obviously this last week we had a great snowstorm, and uh, so skiing is great right now. It's become expensive. Robert Wolf with us uh, as well. Robert, well, we, we took the drive when we were a family. You know, we yeah, went to a chemo for five straight years with my wife, Carol, and Luke and James. And right. They were skiing, and I was snowshoeing. Are, 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 are people doing the drive, as, as Robert correctly calls it, like they used to? Are people skiing 10 11 and 12 times a year in northern New England? Yes, um, you know, depending on who they are. You know, skiers like a lot of other recreationalists, you know, you have your people that ski almost every weekend. You know, there's a lot of second homeowners here, uh, and so they come up uh, more often than that. And then, of course, you have the people that come up just one or two weekends a year, or maybe they come up for Christmas or February vacation and ski, you know, six right. to times as you say. Hey Tim, you know you got lucky this year with all the snow, but two years ago I remember it's a wasteland when it comes to ski areas. Uh, when does your business start to suffer? I'm sorry, when is my business what? When does your business start to suffer because of the weather and the climate change we've been seeing? Oh, well we're, uh, you know, the reality is that up here in northern New England, the, you know, the, I can't really say over the 30 some odd years we've been in the business that the winters are a lot different. Mm -hmm. Every no winter is perfect. You don't have snow right. all the time.